So this is a story about a girl who was raised with a family that was very dysfunctional. She had parents that were addicted to drug and alcohol, so they struggled with that abuse. And they were not able to care for her like she needed and deserved, like any child should be cared for by her parents. Because of this drug addiction, she was passed around from her grandmother to her aunt, to her father and back to her mother until she was age five. After that, she no longer saw her dad because her mother took her from her dad. He was the only one who showed her love and he couldn't do that anymore. She left the state and he couldn't find them. Until she was 19 years old, she was able to see him again. But during the time she was growing up, she felt rejected and neglected by her own immediate family. She had three brothers and she was the only girl and she was the middle child. She had to cook and clean and just care for everybody else's needs. And she was never accepted. She was never loved and appreciated. So, there was a church across the street that she knew of, and there was another Baptist church van that would come through her apartment complex every Thursday, and her aunt invited her to a Pentecostal church. So she, she was going to three churches at the same time when she was ages 10 to about 13 or 14. And uh, she really loved church. It was her happy place as a child. The little old senior ladies, I'm sorry, I was trying not to say old. The little <laughs> senior ladies would just love on her often and she loved that. So she loved being in church. She would do her chores and complete her homework and just so desperately wanted to please her mother by caring for her brothers and being there. Even though she felt like she was just a convenience to them she did what she had to do so that she could go to church. And all this was good until her mother moved them to the other side of town. She could no longer attend two of the churches anymore, so she, she just continued to go to the one church. And then she was discouraged because in this church, the pastor didn't defend or protect or believe her when an adult, another person in the church, physically abused her. The pastor didn't believe her, and she was 15 years old by this time, and she was very discouraged and vowed to never go to church again. By the time she was 18, she had her son, and then her son, when he was a, a toddler, she, had, she never remember ever having any goals or dreams of what she wanted to be when she grew up, so she aimlessly fell into a life of crime, drug addiction herself, and alcoholism. Uh, this went on for a couple of years. After that, uh, being on welfare, she, the welfare system encouraged her to go get an education, so she went and got her high school diploma and became an x-ray technician. Uh, she stayed clean for a little while, and then after making um, decent salary. She started to drink again with her friends, go clubbing in the bar, and uh, next thing you know, drugs is back on the scene again. This time it was a terrible decision because she fell harder than the first time. She became homeless. The first time she experienced that too, but this time she was even spent some time living in the park. She went to jail six times in one year. Catching felonies charges for drugs. And uh, by that time, her x-ray license had expired and she could not renew it because of the felonies that she had. So she felt more lost, more fallen, more than ever. And she, uh, then after that, she found out that she was pregnant. By this time, she was already 35 years old. And uh, 
she believed that this pregnancy, that this baby was a gift from God. So she prayed to God to help her. She knew that the baby didn't deserve that. To come into the world with a mother who was homeless, a drug addict, a person drinking all the time. So she cried to him for help and asked him to help her. He immediately came through for her. The day that she prayed, he told her to walk out of that drug house. And she did. She followed him. She went, ended up at a city mission. And at the city mission, they told her that she needed to attend their church services. And she agreed without hesitation because she knew she needed God. So she goes to this uh, mission and they have their first service that first Sunday after being there a few days. And um, she didn't feel fulfilled because she had this unexplainable hunger and, and thirst for the presence of God. So when she came out of the mission, as her and her son, who was already 16 at the time, they go walking down the street. They're actually headed to the store, <clears throat> excuse me, because he's hungry. So then uh, she starts praying from this desire to have, be in God's presence. She couldn't explain it. She just felt that way. And she cried out to God, please, please help me. I don't want to go back to a life of drug addiction. I want to have a normal life. I, want, I need a church that's going to help. Help me, build me, help me to grow, help me to learn more about you and myself. Help me to be the mom that you want me to be. And as she came to the end of the block with her son, a church bus stopped right in front of her, not even two minutes after the prayer. She stopped the church bus before the church bus, uh, driver could proceed to drive and said, uh, are you going or coming from church? And the driver said, we're going to church. And she says, uh, can we go? And the driver says, sure, hop on. And her son didn't like that because he was hungry, so he was moping. And uh, she looked over to him, she put her arm around him, and she said, she remembered a verse that she knew from when she used to go to church when she was a little girl, and she said, seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. It just came out of her mouth. She was surprised too. <laughs> and after a while, they come in and drive and get into the driving uh, the parking lot of the church. And she noticed the sign on the church, the name of the church. It said, New Beginnings Church of the Nazarene. Mm -hmm. She knew in her heart that this was God answering. The whole bus in front of her, everything was God answering her prayer and directing her. And she walked in that church with confidence. She learned as much as she could, and she never turned back to a life of practicing sin again. She learned about a sanctified life in Christ. And after eight years, she went on to go to New Nazarene Bible College. She gained an, um, a degree in arts and ministry, pastoral ministries. And now she lives trying to fulfill God's plan on her life by ministering to those and reaching for those who are where she used to be. Wanting to see God change lives and save lives like he did hers. This is what delights her. And this person, this girl, this lady, this story of redemption, salvation, grace, hope, love, transformation, this person stands before you today. This person is me. Um, the first picture over here is the last time that I was in jail. That was in 2003. This is at, that's before Christ, this is after Christ. And this is graduate right here. Yeah. Um, 
with a degree in pastoral ministry. Mm -hmm.